Hey, good morning. Hey, sometimes we just kind of get fearful about uh, doing the things that God wants us to do. Sometimes because it's uncomfortable, sometimes because uh, it seems like it's too hard. Uh, sometimes it's just the anxiety that we're dealing with. Sometimes we, and we just kind of bail on God. We just pull away from Him. Have you ever noticed yourself doing that? Just kind of pulling away from God. And uh, maybe it's another talk. How do we know when we start to pull away from God? But but we do, and we uh, we tend to disobey out of fear and doubt, and 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 the ability to just stick with it. And sometimes we even bail on God when it gets easy, like when it's easy. And oftentimes it takes the pain of something to make us go back toward God. But, but here's the deal about God. God never asks us to do something that He's not going to go ahead. He, he, he knows what's going to happen. And He's already there where He's asking you to go. And, and even better than that, maybe, is that He also has you your back. He's guarding you from the back. When the Israelites were crossing the desert, that he was, he was leading them in the front and he was guarding them in the back. But, but the cool thing about getting Jesus into your life is that the Holy Spirit enters into our lives. So then we have God in the front and we have God in the back and we have God leading us and counseling us and comforting us and giving us wisdom and giving us strength through the hard times so that we're stronger when we come out on the other end. See, when Jesus was getting ready to give his life, uh, the, the disciples thought they were all in, and Jesus told them, well, as a matter of fact, Matthew, I'm in Mark 14, verses 27 and 28. On the way, Jesus told them, all of you will desert me. So he's talking to these people. He's, he's talking to the 12. He's talking to Peter, but he's also talking to the other disciples that are following him. And he says, all of you, you're going to desert me. You're going to bail on me. For the scriptures say, God will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. See, sheep depend completely on the shepherd. They know his voice. They know his whistle. They they they. They look for him to bring them to water, bring them to places to eat. Sheep are really, really dumb. They, they, they can't really do anything on their own that's good for them. They need the shepherd. It's the job of the shepherd. Hey, look, if life is pretty hard for you right now, if you just feel like you're separated from God and, and you're having a hard time connecting with him, then, then um, it's not that God has abandoned you. It's that you've stepped away from Him. You've kind of started blocking Him from your life. You even do things that you know you're not supposed to do, just thinking, you know, it's okay. God's going to forgive me. But, but here's the deal. God wants to comfort you. He wants to lead you. He wants to give you wisdom. And, and He wants to change you today so that you'll be better than you were yesterday and then change you tomorrow so that you're better than you are today. And, and it's that whole process of growing in our faith and, and growing in wisdom and growing to be who God wants us to be. How about you? Where are you at right now? Hey, my name is Royal. I do these talks most Mondays through Fridays, and I use a verse. Today was Mark 14, verses 27 and 28, and then I have a prayer to go with it. So here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, I will trust and obey you. Thank you for forgiving me when I do wrong. Sometimes I doubt or try to take control thinking I know better. Please forgive me. You will be my shepherd. I will trust you to go before me, to watch my back, and to lead me from the inside. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, I hope this is encouraging for you. If it is, like it and share it and uh, subscribe to it either on YouTube or on my Facebook page or Life Connection Church's Facebook page. If you have a comment, put it in the comments and I will reply the best I can. And if you have a prayer request, if you will put that prayer request, even if you don't want to be specific and just say, hey, Roy, would you pray for me? Pray that my faith is stronger. Faith, pray that I can deal with this situation right now. Or Roy, would you just pray for me? Put that in there and I will reply with the prayer. So anyway, 
hey, this might be the last one I do this week. I don't know yet, according to my schedule. But I will see you next time, if the good Lord will, and, and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and he'll use you to change the world. I promise. God bless.